and say that American freedom is not going to go away. You're not going to control my body. You're not going to control my money. And I, as a man of God, am no longer just a babysitter of Christians. But if you come after the people of God, then government better know I am your worst nightmare. No, I need, I need a shout right now. Every pastor in America is now a wartime pastor. And if you don't make the transition, you may be seated. If you don't make the transition, you're going to be called a traitor. Well, I don't want politics in my church. I don't want politics in my church. Well, of course you don't. That's how we lost the state of California. All those mega pastors in Los Angeles, do you think they told him to vote against Gavin Newsom? Do you think any of them in the basin did that? Or the pastors in, in large population area? No, they absolutely abdicated their authority and didn't tell the church of God why you need to vote a certain way. Well, I'm telling you about me. You didn't hire me, you can't fire me. I am here, I've got that Latin blood in me. Help me, somebody. I'm not gonna, Gloria a Dios, hermanos. How many of you know, we're a holy group of gangsters now. I want all of God's gangsters to get up right now, put your hands in the air, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. You know I'm right. You can feel it. How many of you want to go deeper? All right, look out. Fasten your seat belts, because what I gave you so far is the appetizer. I went back and did research at all the prophecies, predictions, and sermons that were coming out in the month of December of 2019. Nobody predicted a pandemic that would come within a month. Nobody said we would be locked down. Here's what they said. They shouted, prosperity, victory, and breakthrough was coming. 2020 is our year. We're going to win the election. We're going to win the money. We're going to expand. Every church in California is going to blow up. And every church in California was locked down. Mario, what are you trying to tell me? Why did we miss it? If all the sermons we were preaching and everything we were saying in December of 2019 was from God, why did we miss it? Why did the California churches, the mega churches, not hear one peep from God about preparing their people to be locked down? I'll tell you why. We had been seduced. We had been seduced by church growth. We had been seduced by seeker-sensitive sermons, the express service. We, we went for the 12-minute blessing, and you need to know that everybody had to have coffee to go to church. And, there, what, and that's a signal. If somebody hands you coffee in the, before you walk into church, the message is, you better drink this if you want to stay awake through what's about to happen to you. When they say peace and blessing, Sudden destruction, and it came. It came. And I want you to listen to the man of God now. Why didn't we see it? Why didn't we prepare the people? Because pastors 
were stealing sermons from each other. For their pulpit, they had gone horizontal instead of vertical. And so when the lockdown hit Fresno, I remember one pastor. He said, oh no, you're not gonna lock us down. On the day of Pentecost, we're gonna have church because we are essential. You gotta help me a little bit more. I saw it. I said, oh, gee. I said, this man has gone gangster. I maybe know we got to go gangster one more time. We got to do it one more time. It's not bloods and crips. It's the blood of Christ. Somebody help me right now. Well, you better sit down because I got a lot to do now. Why did we miss it? Why did we miss it? Like Samson, the pastors of California have been through a pandemic and learn nothing and they're dusting off the old success sermons that they had last year they're going back to it they're going back to it they're going back to it out of nostalgia out of the gravitational pull and here's what I'm going to tell you and I'm going to warn every pastor in California and if I lose your friendship over this tonight, so be it. So be it. But if you go back to your growth model, your programs, and all that stuff you were doing last, that year of December of 2019, that mechanism lied to you. And that was the first strike, like Samson. It was the first time he went out without power back then. All of 2019, the churches were preaching this easy believism that God is so into you that he doesn't care if you come every Sunday. You can watch me online or you can get convenient. I promise we'll be done in 12 minutes. I'll make church so harmless, you'll be in there and God won't even touch you. Somebody understand this. They're going back to it. They're rebuilding the temple of easy believism all over again. And I have a question for you. If it lied to you then and didn't tell you a pandemic was coming, what's it going to lie about now? It's going to lie to you. Because the day of the seeker church, the lukewarm church, the country club church, the entertainment church, that day is gone and it's not coming back. God is going to have centers of his glory, centers of the anointing, where the presence and the power of God, we're not going to put up success messages on the screen. We're going to empty wheelchairs. Cancers are going to drop off. Gangsters are going to get saved. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. I don't want to put God in a cart. I want to put myself as a priest to put the oracle of God on my shoulder and carry it as a faithful servant. Shout!